I think the role of public service media gets more important rather than less. Um, commercial radio uh, doesn't do news and current affairs at a local level in anything like the way that BBC local radio does. And I think those interventions where there's market failure combined with public service at the high level are absolutely what we need to do. Now, I'm much more worried about reach than I am about share. I think as long as you can have those big moments, that's a more important thing than worrying about whether you have a show that doesn't quite work on a Saturday night in share terms. Mm -hmm. Well, in the BBC, we have a, a motto we've been using in the last couple of years about fewer, bigger, better. Yeah. And fewer, bigger, better means you go for the really big moments that bring the nation together. I mean, you have to do both the big moments on TV and also do online really well. And what you can get if you get to the right place is a kind of sense of the things being complementary. Mm -hmm. So for instance, in, in BBC Sport, it's really important that we have Premier League highlights. So our Match of the Day programme on a Saturday night is a really big moment, the most watched show for football. But we can't afford live football um, in a way that Sky or BT can. So therefore what we do is put a lot of investment into our results service on a Saturday afternoon. And I'm, I'm an Arsenal fan, and if you go to Arsenal, you see everyone around the ground looking at the other results and you see the yellow of BBC Sport on people's mobiles and that's a moment when the BBC can get a football audience even without having live mm. television football just by having the online investment. Because public service media is going to be challenged financially, we know that. But it's, it's where can public service media provide a role and if it can't do the TV role, can it do the radio role? If it can't do the radio role, can it do the online role? Just, just asking where it is that you can still deliver investment and value to people. I, I tend to take the view that um, you would want every programme we do to have public service breathing through it and I think even if you're doing entertainment shows um, they should have a sense of BBC-ness which is why Strictly Come Dancing is a good example of that because it feels more of a family show more of a kind of show that everyone can enjoy than say X Factor mm -hmm. but I agree there, there's a fairly fine definitions there and you know we're, we're not perfect we do get things wrong but if you look at the American market um, you know the, uh, an American market dominated by Fox News on one side, MSNBC on the other side, is, is you can see the polarisation in American society. And I think what public service media can do is both simultaneously have diversity and, and, and truth. I really have found the EBU inspiring. And, and I think that when you realise what the EBU does, I think you have moments where you see in Greece where there's a very clear yeah. moment where the EBU stands firm for something. But I think what you see day in, day out is the EBU doing a really, really good job and the importance of public service media. I think the challenge is to maintain that profile. Um, I think the work about the vision is incredibly important just to work out what is public service media for. Um, but I, I do feel that, that what's needed by our societies, societies really is free and independent public service media. And you know, you just have to keep that faith.